Okay, thank you for watching my video. My name is Astrid Krasnici. I'm authorized CCNA CCNP Cisco trainer. Now we're going to move to section 10.3, the message heard around the world. Now what happens to the message when we uh, send something on our network? If we use a browser or email or FTP server. That message is going to go through the layers. At each layer, there's something going to happen. An application layer is going to identify what kind of message is it. What stream is it? How am I going to compress it? Uh, how am I going to format it? And so on. Well, after the application layer is actually done with the, with the stream, it's going to hand it over to the transport layer. Now the transport layer, the message of the, this layer is called a segment. What the, seg the transport layer is going to do is going to take this message and it's going to split it on a different segments. While the splitting of the segments is going to identify it, each segment with a sequence number. So each segment is split into pieces and each piece is identified with a sequence number. The transport layer is going to add a, its own header. Its header is a port addresses. So it's going to take the source port is going to take from private range. In this case, I've used 64001 and then destination port port 80. Now port 80 is from the well-known range, which identifies that this message is the destination is some website or HTTP. For example, if we were using secure HTTP or HTTPS, the destination here would be 443 rather than port 80. Okay, after the segment, uh, sorry, transport layer has finished adding his own header, it's going to pass it for, uh, through to the internet layer. Internet layer, at the internet layer, it's called a packet now. Now, internet layer is going to add its own header. The internet header is the source IP address and the destination IP address. So the source IP address is 10.1.1.10, which is the client PC on the top. And destination IP address 10.1.1.20, which is the server on the right. Now, this source and destination IP address, it never gets changed from the source to the destination. It doesn't matter how many hops it goes through, the source and destination IP address remains the same. After that, now it's called the packet. After the internet layer is finished, it's going to give it to the network access layer. At the network access layer, the name changes. Now it's called the frame. A frame, it adds the MAC address, source MAC address, and destination MAC address. Plus, it adds the frame check sequence to make sure that the frame has not uh, been corrupted. The other side actually knows it's going to check the first thing, frame check sequence, and making sure that not have, the frame has not been corrupted on the transit. Now, the source and MAC, uh, source MAC address and destination MAC address would change hop from hop to hop basis. Okay, the network layer, network access gives it to the uh, make sure they're all zeros and ones, and it passes it through the medium and it goes to the destination. At the destination, it's going to do the reverse. While the client was packaging this with the different headers on the, the data, it's called encapsulating, encapsulation. Now, when it goes to the other side, to the destination, the destination is going to do something called de-encapsulation, which is going to mean that it's going to open and remove all the headers. Right, okay, let's go again, go to the other side. The next is going to go to the network access, open the, the frame, which is called now. And first thing it's going to do is going to remove the frame check sequence, making sure that the frame has not been corrupted on the transit. After it makes sure that the frame has not been corrupted, it's going to read the source MAC address and destination MAC address. Let's find out the destination MAC address is itself. So it's going to pass it through upper layers now. It's remove that portion, the header, and pass it to the upper layer. And it's going to reach the internet layer. At this layer, it's called the packet. And the, at the, this packet is going to start reading the source IP address and destination IP address. Well, really just destination, making sure that it's for itself. If it's for itself, it's going to remove that header and give it up, up to the layer, which is the transport layer. Again, at this layer is a segment. So segment is going to make sure that, okay, this is the destination is 80, which means that they're talking about HTTP. And it's going to make sure that all the segments arrive and it puts them on the, on the correct order and then give it to the application layer. Then the application layer is going to hand it over uh, the stream to the uh, destination.
Okay, so this is the, the how the packet travels from the source to the destination. When it gets to the destination, then the destination, if it has any messages to send back to the client, it will actually, the process will just be like the opposite what we just saw. Okay, thank you for watching my video. This has been Astrid Krasnici and please have a look at my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.